Hey friends, Sheila here. I'm a nutritionist and bicycle traveler, and for the last God knows how long, I, like many of you, have been isolating and physical distancing, which means no bike touring. Cycle touring is my favorite way to travel, it's one of my favorite ways to be outside, and being without it is kind of hard. Now don't get me wrong, I know there are bigger fish to fry right now, and not bike touring is a very small price to pay in the grand scheme of everything we have going on, but it's still kind of challenging sometimes, and I just wanted to take a moment today to commiserate with some of my fellow bike tourers about the things we're missing most right now. I've boiled it all down for myself, and I feel like there are six main reasons why I miss bike touring. Number one, the feeling of a shower after a long ride. When you get to the end of a long riding day, you're all salty and sweaty and you're covered in sunscreen and you have sand and dirt stuck to your legs and nothing feels better than getting into a shower. But when you haven't been cycling for hours upon hours and the most you've done is go from your bed to your desk and back again and nobody's gonna see you anyway, having a shower feels supremely pointless and unenjoyable. Number two, meeting new people. When you're bike touring, you meet so many new people on the road. You meet fellow cyclists, you meet local residents, and everyone is so warm and welcoming and has these incredible life stories to tell. When you're at home social distancing, hi, uh, I'm Sheila. I like um, bicycle travel and I like to cook. I like chill people. You seem pretty pretty chill um, because you're, you're having a nap at 1.30 in the afternoon um, and uh, not not really looking at somebody who's talking to you. So that's that's pretty um, chill, very, very cool vibes. I thought maybe we could be uh, besties. Number three, exercising for hours without knowing it. I am without a doubt my strongest when I'm on a bike tour. When you're on a bike tour, you can bike for six, seven, eight hours and barely notice it. You're breathing the fresh air, you're waving at other cyclists, you're seeing new things. Time just flies by. When you're stuck working out at home, time doesn't exactly fly by. Oh, that feels like it's been 45 minutes, right? That's a good standard amount of time for workout. It's just four minutes and 36 seconds. Okay. Longer. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. That, that feels, I feel worked out. That was, that was good, yep. Yep. Number four, time in nature. Cycling up mountains, camping in the forest, waking up by a river. You get so much outdoor time on a bike tour. Right now, you get, oh, look, a squirrel. I shall watch you all day, my friend. Oh, he's gone. Number five, the fact it's always food time. I love food. And when you're on a bike tour, it feels almost impossible to get enough food for the amount of exercise you're doing, which means you truly need to eat as much as you can whenever you can. When you're in isolation, this is not exactly the case. Is lunch on yet? No. Is lunch on yet? No. Is lunch on yet? Number six, there's always something new to see and do. When you're on a bike tour, every day is new and exciting. You wake up in a new place, you pack up your bike, and you spend the entire day seeing new things, meeting new people, eating different foods, and then you go to sleep in another beautiful new spot. Right now, you wake up and... <sighs> what will I get up to today? Oh, right. Exact same thing as yesterday. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Just gonna, just gonna you know, take a little snooze. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, that feels nice. Okay. Just soothe yourself back to sleep. Just everything's fine. 
that's it for today, friends. I'd love to chat with you more about what you're missing about bike touring or just how you're generally doing in isolation. Don't hesitate to leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a like. It really supports the channel. And if you want more videos on bicycle travel or nutrition or what other random topic pops into my head, hit subscribe and the little bell to be notified whenever I put out new videos. Thanks. Have a good one.